Well, hello everybody and welcome back. Here's another update on Turmoil 2022 for the Mattel Aquarius. Things are going along very good. The game is basically done. I am now just working on trying to improve the sounds, give it better sound. Because I don't want to just be boom, boom, bing, bing. I want to have some kind of music in the background. So I am working on that right now. That's only going to work with the mini expander, unfortunately, because the internal beeper, buzzer sound on the Aquarius really doesn't allow you to do much with it, but I'm going to try to do something with it. So Tomo 2022 is coming along very well. It's been fully debugged, and I'm very happy with the code itself, and as I said, I'm just working on sounds. Our stretch goal we have is Flappy Bird, but Flappy Bird has gotten a new name. Its new name, as you can see on the screen, is Oh Shit Pipes. Why is it called Oh Shit Pipes? Well, because I've had a number of people say, Flappy Bird was written five years ago or six years ago, and we don't need another Flappy Bird. Good, I'm glad somebody else wrote it too, but I'm writing a version of Flappy Bird for the Aquarius because I'm also writing a version of Flappy Bird for the ColecoVision, which, oh, by the way, also had a Flappy Bird on it too. Hence the name, Oh Shit Pipes, which is it has a double meaning. In the case of the bird, Oh Shit Pipes is he's freaking out, and in the case of people saying we had one made eight years ago, well, Oh Shit Pipes. <laughs> So that's what I'm going to call it. I kind of like the name. As you can see going on in the background here, I have various different screen layouts happening now for Oh Shit Pipes. I have your normal sky. I have your uh, normal daytime. I have your nighttime. I have an underwater version, and we also have a lava version. More is coming to that, including in the underwater one. Right now it's not doing it. The underwater one is going to work backwards. You don't flap to go up. You flap to go down because you're underwater and, you know, you would float normally. So it'll be a little game changing there. And some other things happened also in the background. I don't have them filmed right now. But other things, the uh, pillows go up and down. The gaps move around. I am working on um, some enemies, and I am also working on multiple gaps instead of just single gaps. Things to make it more of a... It, I don't think it would ever be a platformer game, but it would have levels to it that you have to get to a certain point and then things change. You may notice occasional glitching on the screen. I don't know if that is the Aqualite emulator that I'm using, or I don't know if that is the Wine, which is a Windows emulator I'm using in Linux. So in Linux, I'm using a Windows emulator to run a, an Aquarius emulator. So I don't know which one of them is causing the glitch when I write to the screen occasionally. It doesn't happen on the real hardware. So I'm not too concerned at this point about it. It seems to be an artifact of my hardware emulation. So those are the changes that we've had so far this week. We're doing pretty good. We haven't gotten to our stretch goal yet. We have about three weeks left, two and a half, three weeks left before the campaign is over. I mean, we've already we've already reached the 1500, so Terminal 2022 is going to all the backers. No problem with that at all. But if we can get that stretch goal, then oh shit, pipes will also be included on that. Have a great day.